Hello, I'm the Budget Modeler and this is episode 7 of my Revel Lockheed PV-1 Ventura build from Models for Heroes. If you're watching this then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like, leave a comment, ring my bell. That would be brilliant, thank you. Here's a quick look at the office control panel. You can see how well the decals have dropped in using my homebrew. Now, to begin with, we're going to mat all the parts we've done so far. So, without further ado, let's crank up the speedy uppy thing and crack on with those. So that's those parts all matted down. Now to get the glazing on the dials on the control panel done. We do this with a dob of gloss on each dial. There are loads of different ways of doing this. It's just my personal preference. I prefer gloss varnish. Anyway, let's crack on with this. There we go, that's the glazing done on the control panel. Now it's time for us to glue it into the office. Once we've got that into the office, we can then put the office into the fuselage half. Okay, there we have the office installed. As this Ventura operated out of Iwo Jima in 1945 in the Pacific. I did a bit of research and found that it was a fairly sandy place, so decided to use some of my homebrew sand wash in the wheelbase. Say I did the rest as well. Anyway, now that's all done, it's time to crack on and get this bad boy closed up. So let's get this done. All parts done inside? Check. Fitment? Excellent. Is this really a revel kit? Anyway, let's get it glued. Now 
My personal preference for gluing two halves of an aircraft together is to start at one end and work my way around. Sometimes you have to let a section dry, but not with this bad boy. With this one I started at the rear as I've got the tail to hold the rear section together and then just progress round. That's the fuselage together, pop that to one side. Now to stick the undercart to the wheelbase. That's the undercart glued in and we'll just pop those to one side. Now we need to get those engine nacelles cleaned up ready for fitting. So let's crack on and get them cleaned up. We also put the engines and cows on once we've cleaned up the nacelle. That's the nacelles done. Now we're going to mask off the canopy. What I've done is I've pilfered some of my Better Halves liquid latex. To try it as a masking agent, it smells just like Copydex and Masco. So let's crack on and see how it goes.
there's all the plexiglass masked up using liquid latex. Now we're going to glue the top turret together before we fit it to the rest of the fuselage. That's the top turret fitted. Now that the fuselage has dried, let's give it a bit of a sanding and see what needs filling there. Now we can fit the top turret. And back to sanding. you can see how much levelling out there is to be done. But to be honest, it's not a lot. It's a shallow and long drop rather than a short and deep drop. Anyway, let's crack on with the sanding. Well, that's the sanding done, and this seems like a good a place to end the episode. So, thank you for watching episode 7. If you want to see what happens in episode 8, then please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video, leave a comment, and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modelling.